Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeboo. They are now running a promotion to where if you sign up by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, you can now receive two free stocks valued up to $1,600. That is literally free money. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the three most popular gaming stocks that is in the entire world with the upcoming holiday releases of the PlayStation 5. Bam! The Xbox Series Generation 5, 6, I don't know what it's called, Xbox X. And then Nintendo is supposed to be coming out with a Nintendo Pro, Nintendo Lite, something like that, but this is the Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna be comparing Nintendo we're gonna be comparing Sony, and we're gonna be comparing Microsoft. These three companies each have their own gaming system, and we're gonna put them head to head against each other to see which one might be the best investment for us if we wanna invest into the gaming industry. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Oh, hey, what's up, Jimmers? Welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be comparing Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. First one that we have up is Nintendo, ticker symbol N-T-D-O-W. They have killed it with the Nintendo Switch that came out. The last one, the Nintendo Wii U that they had, that was a complete flop, but the Nintendo Switch is a complete success and is a very um, high-performing selling gaming system. At the recording of this video, Nintendo is valued at $70.34. They have a dividend growth over the last four years and they pay out semi-annually. That means they pay out twice a year. Uh, the dividend yield is 1.79% and each time they're gonna pay you 95 cents per share twice a year. So around $2 every single year you, want, you will make from Nintendo just from owning this company. The next one we're gonna look at is Sony. They are coming out with their PlayStation 5 that has already sold out on their pre-orders. They're expecting uh, this to be the gaming powerhouse of this generation that is coming out. So Sony, ticker symbol is SNE. Their price point at the recording of this video is $77.26. They have also grown their dividends over the last four years and they pay out semi-annually. That means twice a year. They have a dividend yield of 0.59%, paying out 46 cents per year for every share that you own of Sony. And the next one is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFF. They're coming out with the Xbox Series X, gonna be able to game at 4K 60 frames per second without a problem. This is Sony's biggest competitor when it comes to performance powerhouses. They're trying to see who could game at the highest resolution, at the highest frame rate. Nintendo's all about exclusivities. They have their own exclusive lines like Mario, Zelda, so you're not even gonna compare to those uh, powerhouses right there, but Microsoft, they're going head to head with Sony based off of performance. Now, I'm gonna go off the back and say this right now. Microsoft has you money, all right? they. They got so much money, they just bought Bethesda for $7.5 billion. They just, hey, they just bought, they just bought it for $7.5 billion. To put that in perspective, um, Disney bought Lucasfilm Star Wars for $4 billion, all right? So Disney bought Star Wars for $4 billion. Microsoft, out of nowhere, just bought Bethesda for $7.5 billion. That's how much money Microsoft have but as we guys know just because a company has a lot of money that doesn't mean that their stock always performed the, the best so we're gonna figure that out in this video today so Microsoft at the recording this video is at $207.82 they've grown their dividends over the last 17 years that's pretty sweet and they also pay out quarterly that means they pay out four times a year every three months they have a dividend yield of 1.08 percent and you'll receive two dollars and 24 cents for every share that you own of Microsoft. 
So these are these three companies. Although Sony makes TVs, they make a whole bunch of other stuff. Microsoft make computers and all this and all that. We're just going to be comparing these based off of the new platforms that are coming out this holiday season, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 to see if we do want to invest into a gaming company, which one might be the best fit for us to make a profit. So let's go ahead and look at these companies' earnings. So here we are on Nintendo. Nintendo last earnings, they brought in a revenue of $12.17 billion. Not bad, not bad. Sony on their last revenue bought in $76.82 billion. Oh, that is so much money, oh my God. And then Microsoft, they brought in $143 billion. So once again, like I said, Microsoft has a, a, a ton of money, all right? So they bought in $143 billion. In this video, you guys already know what the PlayStation 5, the Xbox X, and the Nintendo Switch is. So, we're, so let's go ahead and dive in and compare these three companies to each other. How did they perform over the last decade where they went through all trials and tribulations, through recessions, through a global pandemic? If they survived that, then it could show us how could how might these companies perform over the next 10 years so we're going to compare these three companies at last decade's performance to see which one would we like to invest into for the future all right here we are on the portfolio visualizer let's go and do the last decade so from 2010 to 2020 and let's say we invested ten thousand dollars back in 2010 cash flow none right now rebalance annually uh, Display income, yes, and reinvest dividends, yes, of course. The first one we're going to pull up is Nintendo, N-T-D-O-Y, Nintendo. The second one is Sony, S-N-E. And the last one is Microsoft, M-S-F-T, Microsoft. There we go. We're going to allocate 100% of portfolio number one to Nintendo, portfolio number two to Sony, and portfolio number three to Microsoft. Um, let's go ahead and change the portfolio names. First one is Nintendo, N-T-D-O-Y. Second portfolio is Sony, S-N-E. And the last one is Microsoft, M-S-F-T. All right, so when I hit this analyze portfolio button, this is us investing $10,000 into each one of these companies back in 2010 to see how they would have performed over the last decade with also reinvesting their dividends to see how much dividends payments we would get from each one of these companies. Let's hit analyze portfolio, grow down, and hey, is that, whoa, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so Nintendo, $10,000 will now be worth $26,000. Sony, your $10,000 will be worth $27,000. And Microsoft, which is more of an all-around company, they don't just rely on their gaming system. They have a whole ecosystem. They're one of the largest companies in the world. Microsoft, you'll have $94,000. That is insane, even looking at this chart right here. So here it goes. Microsoft started off kind of slow until 2011 when it finally made this switch and then it just outperformed Nintendo and Sony over the last 10 years. So right now it's Microsoft, Sony, and then Nintendo in terms of performance. So let's scroll down to their dividends. Okay, it's not showing Sony's dividends, but let's look at Nintendo and Microsoft. 2019, you will have received $399 in dividends that year. And from Microsoft, you will have received $781 in dividends from Microsoft that year. So there it goes. You will have made more money in dividends from Microsoft than you would have on Nintendo. But like you guys say, even this small dip right here from these two companies, what if we buy the dip? So we're gonna go back in and change it from just a one-time investment to us dollar cost averaging and buying all of the dips. So we're gonna change the 10,000. Let's say we only had $1,000 to invest back in 2010, but instead of investing that $10,000 large amount, we're going to invest $800 every single month into the stock market. So no matter what the price is, we're buying it high and we're buying it low. Uh, we're going to be buying the dip for Nintendo and Sony because it had a major dip right around in here. So we're going to see how this, this changed the performance of these companies at all, if any. So let's go ahead and hit analyze portfolio and let's scroll down. All right, there we go. So there we go. And Nintendo, 
with reinvesting every single month of $800, you'll have $354,000. Sony, you'll have $335,000. So Nintendo did end up outperforming Sony this time. And Microsoft, you'll have $655,000. So that's not bad at all. Um, the worst year Nintendo had was down 52%. The worst year Sony had was down 49%. And the worst year Microsoft had was down 6%. Wow. Over the last 10 years, the worst year they had was down six percent wow that is amazing okay the best year nintendo had was up 76 percent the best year sony had was up 60 percent and the best year microsoft had was up 57 percent so this is all amazing if we're taking a look at this chart right here let's turn that off yeah so nintendo and sony is still a battle for, for like a very close battle for a second but microsoft is just overall a better a more profitable company than these two. So if you're thinking about, hey, which company should I invest into? I think Microsoft might be the way to go based off how they performed over the last decade. So your dreamers, if you guys are sitting at home and saying, hey, I wanna own a piece of one of these three gaming systems that's coming out this holiday season, which one do I wanna be a slight owner of and buy a share or two? then Microsoft is looking like the way to go. You will get some pretty sweet dividends in their overall company. Uh, they're bringing in some great revenue and they have been growing that company over the last 10 years. And I can see them being a major force over the next decade to come. So even though I'm in love with my Nintendo, it looks like the company that I will be investing in to own some partnership, a little share of, is Microsoft. So, so let me know down in the comment section which gaming system are you gonna pick up this holiday season, the, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, or the new version of the Nintendo Switch that is supposed to be coming out. I think, I think that might be coming out with a Pro, I'm not sure, but I think they are coming out with something but but just go ahead and let me know down in the comment section and while you're down there don't forget to hit the thumbs up button it helps me out more than you could even imagine and, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace